Today we are in Mannheim, the second largest city in the state of Baden-Württemberg. Mannheim is also known as the square city because of its for German cities unusual or even unique layout. The city center is laid out in a grid pattern as we know it from many cities in the USA for example. As you can see on the map up here, um, the streets don't have names like it's uh, typical for German streets, instead they are numbered. We passed by Mannheim many times already or um, had to switch trains here, but we never actually left the train station. So this time we decided to just make a day trip uh, and visit Mannheim. So let's go and see what the city has to offer. Okay, we made it to our first stop. Here behind me uh, you can see the old water tower of the city. Um, usually during summer it's really nice and green here, a lot of flowers and also these little ways there on the side are usually green and behind me, as you can see, there are also fountains and um, yeah, usually there's quite a lot of water. So I guess in summer uh, it's really nice here. You can uh, relax, enjoy the weather and um, if you continue this way behind the water tower there is uh, there's the city and it looks like there's also a ferris wheel I have no idea what's going on but um, yeah I guess we walk around here a little bit take a look at the park and uh, of course the water tower right there and uh, yeah then we move on to the city Okay, quick change of plans. We went to uh, the other side of the water tower. Unfortunately, because of this uh, Ferris wheel, it is uh, blocked off and you can't really go, go up there. But I think usually you can go up. And um, there are also some tours or visiting hours where you, can, uh, where you can go up there and maybe they tell you a little bit more about the water tower and so on. But um, before, you, before we go, to the city we eat a little bit angel uh yeah just went to hold on to burger king and we got a few things angel what did you buy menu Cold, chicken menu fanta long chicken nice. some fries okay and my son also had food not from mcdonald's but his own and um yeah i think we eat now and then, yeah, we go to the city, just all the way up there. And I think from the water tower, if you just walk uh, straight down, you get to the, uh, I don't know, some square, I forgot the name, but there is some interesting looking fountain and yeah, already excited to see it. It's also a quite nice pedestrian area here. Many uh, shops and stores and also uh, restaurants and cafes along the way here. Uh, 
But unfortunately, it's Sunday, so everything is closed besides a handful of restaurants and so on. But um, still very nice. We actually wanted to go yesterday, but it was raining the whole time and really cloudy. So we stayed at home. But um, as you can see, now it got really sunny. It's a nice day. So we also made it to the fountain I told you about earlier. It's right there. I uh, saw some pictures on the internet about it and it looked uh, quite interesting. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, the sun is right above the fountain, but uh, let's go and take a closer look. This is really an interesting fountain, I have to say. As you can see, many different statues on here. Like this uh, below here, they are, it looks like they're catching fish or anything, or stuff like that. And um, the higher up you get, there are some sort of soldiers. And uh, I don't know what else, soldiers, kings. And on top, I don't know, an angel with a trumpet? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's a really interesting fountain and it's actually also a nice plaza if you take a look around here. Angel is waiting over there, but yeah, really nice. So I guess uh, we move on to the palace now. Now we made it um, to the last stop of the day. It's <laughs> quite sunny as you can see. The sun is right there above the palace. And um, yeah, it's really nice here. It's a huge square. And um, again, I have to say I'm surprised by the city. I Usually I um, do a little bit of research before, before we go to a place, but um, I didn't really do it this time. I only knew a few spots I wanted to visit, like the water tower or that fountain. But um, on the way, just walking through the city, I'm really surprised. There's a lot of stuff to see. And it's um, actually really, really nice here. Also the church that we passed by, it's, uh, it's a beautiful building. And yeah, now we are here at the palace. It's quite big as you can see, but um, I'm not quite sure if there's uh, something like a castle garden or stuff like that, but I guess we take a look around and we'll see. Okay, there's not really uh, a castle garden around here, but there's still this nice open field right behind uh, the palace. It's not like in Karlsruhe, for example, where you also have a lake and all that stuff, but uh, it's still quite nice. And um, yeah, if you're interested, inside the palace here is also a museum, so you can check that out. And um, yeah, I can. <laughs> only say it again it's a really really nice city i didn't expect it unfortunately we are a little bit out of time otherwise we would have went to i think the luisen park or something i'm not quite sure about the name but it's a really nice city park um maybe we go there the next time i definitely want to come back in spring or when it's summer and um hold on i noticed something else <laughs> probably don't see me because of the sun but um I just wanted to show you something real quick before we end the video. Hold on. There it is. I have absolutely no idea what it is, but I thought it's quite interesting. <laughs> it's right below the palace. Like I said, no idea what it is. The only thing I know, I don't want to be down there when it's raining like crazy. 
Maybe it used to be an aquarium. I have no clue. But, well. I think we're going to stay here a little while, enjoy the weather, and um, then slowly head back to the car. And, yeah, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment. And if you want to see more of our vlogs, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys the next time.